What's up guys, Big D Wiz here, OldSchoolStereo.com What we have here beneath the drape is something very special. We'll get to that in just a minute. So enough of the suspense, let's pull the cover off and see what we have here. Ooh, ah, uh, what is this? Looks like an old school tape deck something. It is actually a Fosgate frequency energizer. You can see we have a low frequency with selections from 3 dB up to 18 dB. And we have high frequency with a contour from 1 to 6. And we can select between source and tape. Let's see what the back looks like. Here's the back of the unit. And there's a switch there for in or out the attenuator, the serial number, and there's the inputs and outputs which are also shown here. And somebody conveniently wrote left and right on there. Guess they don't, guess it didn't really say on there which was left and right. Although by the writing it looks like they got it backwards. And the most important thing here to see is this patent number, which is not in focus, 3883832. And I'm going to show you now on the screen what this patent is all about. So the big deal here is the Fosgate Frequency Energizer was the patent for the first punch EQ circuit which had the 18 dB low boost and the 12 dB high boost. Now this is not a great example of a Rockford Fosgate amplifier because it's kind of a beat up one but that way you can still see the bass control there 0 to 18 and the treble 0 to 12. So the patent, as you can see, 388382 is the same patent that was on the frequency energizer. Basically, Jim Fosgate created this device and filed for a patent uh, for boosting low and high frequencies to make the recording sound better, which eventually led into Rockford Fosgate amplifiers because they... I uh, believe, if I'm correct, they purchased the patent from Jim Fosgate so they could use it moving forward in all of the punch amps, which actually, this circuitry, something similar to it is still used today, which is pretty incredible if you ask me. And this was approximately 1973 when this device came out. The patent was filed in late 72. And... Um, so anyway, this was just cool, really cool device I found here. Don't know how many of these are around. I think a few Fosgate collectors have some. This one's in excellent shape. The only thing that's really wrong is it's missing one of the feet. And uh, actually it's missing three of the feet. It only has one. But anyway, it's a pretty cool little device here. Don't see very many of these. And it actually still works. And I'll show that in a future video. But, we're not done yet. I have something else to show you. Hmm, what could that be? Let's find out. Alright, and here we are back with this surprise. Here is the Fosgate Frequency Energizer. And next to it we have the Proline Frequency Energizer. This was actually the first Frequency Energizer built by Jim Fosgate. Back in the, I believe, late 
72 or early 73. As you can see, size-wise, they're pretty similar. It looks like um, the Fosgate one just was built inside of a cabinet, whereas the Proline one kind of, uh, the front aluminum piece just kind of extruded outside of, of the cabinet. But they both have this, this faux wood finish here. It's just veneer over uh, like an MDF type material. But let me uh, turn it around, I'll show you the back of them. I've already shown you the back of the Fosgate model. And the big difference here to notice is the patent number is on this one, 3883832. But when we pan over to the other model, the Proline, it says patent pending. So Fosgate had uh, applied for the patent for this one and it had not, um, had not received the patent yet back from the U.S. Patent Office. Again, guys, the big historical significance of these pieces is these were the first models which were to become the Punch EQ with the 18 up to 18 dB boost at 45 hertz and the up to 12 dB boost at 20,000 hertz. All right, so half the fun is seeing the items and see what they're all about, but what do you say we hook it up to a little amplifier and play around with them and see if they work? Yeah, let's do that. 